We are ready and set up for some live music in our studio. We want to welcome Kurt Vile and the Violators here on this Mother's Day Sunday afternoon. How is everybody doing? Great. Thank you all for being here. The band are playing tonight at Numos along with the Fresh and Onlys and Steve Gunn. And uh, we'll talk in a little bit, but if you're ready for music, that'd be wonderful. Yeah, we're ready.
gotta think about what wise cracks I'm gonna drop along the way today. Ninety point three KEXP here in Seattle. You're listening to live music from Kurt Bile and the Violators. "Waken on a Pretty Day" is the song you just heard from the uh, brand new Matador release, "Waken on a Pretty Days." And again, they're going to be playing tonight at Numos. 
Fresh and Onlys and Steve Gunn. Again, thanks for being here. Thanks for coming back to the station. Steve Gunn, who's right there, by the way. I was going to have you, uh, if you could, tell our listeners, everybody that you've got here with you today. I've got Steve Gunn, who just walked out. He was just playing the, the leads uh, in the first half of the song. Um, he's, a, he's from my hometown of Lansdowne, actually. He's got an amazing, he's an amazing finger picker guy. He's, he's opening the show. Uh, we've got Jesse Turbovich over there. It's uh, Vince Nudo on drums. We got Rob Laxo on on the big bottom. We mentioned Steve's name a couple of times, and he walked out of the room. Yeah, he'll, <laughs> he'll be back on the next song. All right, all right. Well, Kurt, thanks again for being here. And uh, the new album, "Awaken on a Pretty Days." That uh, first song, I as just as a musical listener. The uh, the lyrics, the uh, room for all the music on the new album is a listener experience. It just, you know, each listen, I can uh, kind of focus in on different aspects of the song. And that's just kind of the cool thing about a listener experience for me. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Is um, Was that the first song that you wrote for this new album? Um, it's I, the lead-off song? I, in a lot of ways, it was. I mean, I, w- I started that pretty early um, in the... Uh, you know, when we were touring Smoke Ring, and I would just write it really slowly, and it was the first st- song we yeah, we started um, when we went in to record. And we I made sure, like, we, we had intense, like, uh, touring in the spring and summer of whatever last year. And I made sure we at least, you know, I was going to record hardcore when we got back, but I made sure we did, like, a week of recording before I went out. Otherwise, you know, my brain would have exploded, like, you know, with anxiety. And yeah, that's the first song we started, and, and you know, we came back after like, you know, what, like, you know, a couple months or more of nonstop touring, um, you know, finished it, and a, a million other things, or you know, a couple other things. Did uh, when you had the idea of starting this album, did you have any idea that it was going to turn out to be this lengthy in terms of the number of songs and the I, and the longer songs? I mean, I knew I had a lot of ideas, and I knew I. I like the idea, and uh, just us just touring all the time, just playing guitar. You know, it felt good to jam out, and, it, and it's in a, in ways it's nothing new. Like we kind of always find ourselves having to edit down our songs, but they just felt you know I, I would jam parts out and think, oh, well, you know, we'll just fade it out, but uh, it just all felt too right, you know. So there's several studios listed on the, the credits: California, Philadelphia, New York. That just happened to be where you were at the time of stopping in between tours to, to record parts? No, it was calculated. Um, I, I went, first we went, well, I, I mean, some, there's a couple songs that I started even earlier than the, the, you know, the main record when we start with John and Yellow, but Rob Black's over here, we, we did, me and him worked as early as like, I don't know, February of last year on that song KV Crimes and Airbud and we got a ton of others, but like, um, sorry, um, what was the question? <laughs> Oh, just about the different studios. Oh yeah. So anyway, yeah. So I um, I wanted to go up to upstate New York, this place called Dreamland, because it's like built into an old church. Um, you know, you stay in the rectory, so you know you can just concentrate and be in the, you know in Woodstock in the you know wilderness, and uh, so that was good vibes. And then we toured and we went back there again, and then I wanted to go out to L.A. because uh, I wanted Farmer Dave share to play on the record. And then it just all fell into place. And our friend Stella from Warpaint played drums on it. And uh, Emily from Warpaint sang on a song. My friend Jennifer Harima. You know, just just go to the West Coast. You know, go to their environs as opposed to flying them to Philly or something. And then it's like a little contrived or something. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then back to Philly because then I was close to my family. And then up to, you know, up to New York to mix. And, yeah. I was going to ask you about the folks from Warpaint. They're a band that I've uh, really enjoyed listening to the last few years. Did you meet them on tour sometime back? Yeah, I met them at Primavera, like, you know, 2011. And we just crossed paths at different times and then became more fast friends more at this point. I also wanted to ask you about the artwork, the mural on yeah. this album. This artwork is pretty cool. The friend of yours that did this? Uh, well... I mean, he's a he's an acquaintance. <clears throat> I would like to be friends with him. He's a, he, uh, actually Steve Gunn is good friends with him. Um, but uh, Steve Powers, he's from Philly. He's um, 
you know, to, he's like a, a rock star graffiti artist, basically. You know, he's just paid to go all over the world and, pa you know, paint. Um, and he's he's amazing. And, yeah, that just it just totally worked out. He kind of contacted me about something different. And uh, I definitely heard his name, but I was spacing on it. And I told my manager, and he's like, holy sh holy heck. Holy heck, you know? <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's pretty, especially if you if you have the album, it looks it looks great on the album. Yeah, totally. No, and that's like a and that mural stays. So, as you know, it's about time that I have a mural. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, Kurt Vile and the Violators are uh, wrapping up the Northwest here. They were in Portland and Vancouver, and tonight at Numos. And then I saw on your tour schedule later on this summer you'll be back in the Northwest at Pickathon. Mm -hmm. um, will you do anything differently at Pickathon? Actually, yeah. There, there's two sets. At Pickathon, so one will be with the Violators, and one will be solo. Uh, that would mean just me, <laughs> or one of the Violators. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it's, it's actually Jesse and the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> That's later on in uh, August at Pickathon. That'll be pretty cool. But tonight they're at Numos, and if you're ready for a couple of more songs, that'd be wonderful. Cool. <clears throat> All right, you guys stay on your toes. Why should it know? My heart is overgrown Risk it exploding all over Well you better get a load of this one With the load on The time has come And I believe I've come to For to tell Something's always in the way Wow, that would Stay. 
You're listening to live music here in our studio from Kurt Vile and the Violators performing tonight at Numos. So you gotta get Steve back. Steve Gunn. Did you know you were playing on this one? Steve, did you know you were playing on this one? Or did you not? I thought it was Oh, okay. I got me. I, it's okay. If we're live, maybe. maybe we should. I had, there's one more thing I wanted to ask you as we're waiting for Steve. I don't know if this is a fair question. Are you more satisfied with the uh, music, the new music of this album, or the or the uh, the lyrics of the, a different level of each of those? Oh, you know, I'm, <clears throat> <coughs> I'm uh, happy with the whole package. You know, it's got to be a. It's all like. It's all a package, you know. I want, I want it to be like well-rounded, you know. So I, I can't say. I mean, if, if I had to choose, I'd say the music, you know. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But um, I, it's, it's supposed to be like you know one.
for the sake of the strip that I could be cruising in the comfort of a sports car illusion. I think about them all the time. I think about them all the time. Think about them all the time. You're listening to live music from Kurt Vile and the Violators here at KEXP, Girl Called Alex, and the one prior to that, KV Crimes, from the new release on Matador, Waken on a Pretty Days, playing tonight at Numos, the Fresh and Onlys, and Steve Gunn opening up. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here again this afternoon. Thank you. And a big thank you to our engineer, Jackson. It's 90.3 KEXP, Seattle.